So, I stand outside this courthouse today, and I, I feel like America is in a cultural decline. That I look around the kind of pace and the kind of people that we've had in the past 50 years, and it doesn't match the 50 years previous. I feel like, I feel like <laughs> there's something wrong. And, and in my country, there's a problem, and that problem is the feds. They take everybody's freedom, and they never give it back. And if, if you go, if you go to Georgia and you have a staph infection, they can, they can have a bacteriophage that they genetically engineer eat your staph. Like, no joke. Whereas here, they're like, we're going to cut your arm off, we're going to flood you with antibiotics until you die. Like there, they can have a treatment that's known to be the best in the world because their FDA doesn't define each individual bacteriophage as a new treatment that has to go through clinical trials. If you want to put a drone in the air, like how many commercial applications of drones are there? There's a shit ton. If you want to put a drone in the air and have it speak TCAS, the Traffic Collision Avoidance System, you just can't do that. There's no licensing path for the FDA to, for the FAA to do this. You, you're, you're not allowed to innovate. Stop thinking outside the box, Western man. I feel, I feel like, you know, we could have laptop batteries that last a hundred fucking years, like fucking uh, with, with, with beta voltaics. And, and we can't have this because the NRC says no. There's so many engineers working tirelessly in this country to find the best damn solutions to a given problem. And then they find out that it's against the US code. And that's before fucking things like patents where, where attorneys in their, in their subhumanity gleefully lord over people <laughs> that are trying to contribute something useful to humanity. And, and I look at all this and, and I'm saying, I'm going to prison for arithmetic. I added one to a fucking number on a public web server and I aggregated this data and I gave it to a fucking journalist at that man's publication. <laughs> and this is why I am going to prison. It's arithmetic. Fuck this country. Like, this country, we, ha we are gone. The innovative spirit that our forefathers had, the, the rights that we had in this fucking place are being fucking ruined by wicked tyrants, seditious thugs. And if they have any soul, any soul in their whole body, and they understood what they were doing to the rule of law, to, to the fucking Bill of Rights and to the free and open internet, they, they would die in their own goddamn shame. Either they're, they're malicious, malicious, wicked people that, that want to destroy Western civilization, or they're goddamn fucking morons. I, that it's one or the other, I don't know which it is, but they're evil, either evil or fucking retarded. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I, I, uh, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like Mineta weeping at, 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 her, at her father's feet. And uh, I, I, I hope that the innovation has a, a, a wakeful return as fast as possible. Because there, there isn't much time left to fix this place. I think that, I think we have a very short window before the currency collapses and before this place becomes just a, a some third world country and, and there's there's new Detroits and, and Birmingham's and, and St. Louis's every year and, and we have we have very little time to manufacture things again and, and bring our country back to the greatness that it was. And and uh, I I hope that you're all on my cell block, all the all the engineers out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you all in federal prison.
I can definitely tell you this case is going up on appeal. And, and yeah, and Orrin Kerr and the Electronic Frontier Foundation wouldn't agree to work on this case if they didn't think the issues were significant. You know, I mean, you can say what you want about Andrew, and one of the things you can say is that he's your prototypical, unpopular client. But um, That's a good thing. Yeah, I, I mean... From making case law. Yeah, I mean, the issues here are significant. The law is extremely problematic. Um, I really think that the interpretation uh, the prosecution's interpretation in Andrew's case uh, is one that criminalizes uh, normal computer use that millions of people engage in in the United States every every day because essentially what's going on is they're saying that well the access is unauthorized because AT&T says it was. I mean there was no notice in this case, there was no password bypass, nothing was hacked. This was actually the way they set up their system that AT&T admitted in open court that uh, this was a conscious business decision on the part of AT&T not to password protect this information because they wanted uh, the convenience of people when they logged in to have their email address pop right up and then you know the way it worked is your email address would pop up and then there would be you know a password login so uh, but they want it both ways right well I mean, can't think about what you do when you click on a Google link right so you say you click on a Google link you do a Google search you click on a Google link and a website uh, owner decides oh I don't want you on that website bang potential felony you know or at least a misdemeanor to the CFAA I mean I've got tons of calls from computer security researchers people in the financial service industry people who data mine who are all freaking out about this and I know that the government thinks that they're making the internet safer by doing this but I think actually there's a better argument the other way around that actually what they're doing is they're discouraging legitimate computer research because this is what computer researchers do all the time is they test systems for vulnerabilities and by chilling that activity of computer researchers they're actually making the internet less safe. Public web server and giving it to a journalist. This is available for everybody, not just yourself. That's correct. It was on the open internet. So you didn't hack anything or, or technically do anything that uh, wasn't publicly available. Yeah. So there's nothing I want to fix when it comes to the internet. Nothing I want the government to fix when it comes to the internet. And um, we we just we continue to pass legislation that has unintended consequence. I 